In this video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 fragrance picks from Bond number nine, but first, Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Yes, I am giving a giveaway on this channel because guess what? I recently hit 10,000 subscribers, yay! So in order to celebrate and show you the same sort of love that you've showed me, I am doing a giveaway on this channel. So if you follow me on Instagram stories, you know what I'll be giving away. So I decided I'm gonna do a really big giveaway on my channel since my channel is approaching 10,000. Check it out. Yes, honey, go follow me on YouTube. <laughs> There'll be 10 lucky winners. I'm giving away 10 samples of Bond Number no. 9 fragrance. This is not a collaboration or a sponsored video. These are my personal samples that I have from my own collection that I'll be giving to you. And one lucky winner will receive five samples that I have in my collection. Watch all the way to the end of the video so that you can find out how you can be a part of this giveaway. So in the meantime, if you're new to this channel, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and also hit the bell right next to it so that you can be notified every time I post a video on YouTube. So before we get into the countdown, I wanna give you a brief history of Bond Number no. 9. Bond Number no. 9 is hugely popular in the niche fragrance community. Everyone loves them. Celebrities, rap artists, magazines, they're published in articles all over the world and people love this company. Larisse Rame is the owner and founder of Bond Number no. 9 and she has such a noteworthy career history. She's worked with Laura Lancome. She was mentored by Anique Guttal and she was a distributor for Creed. Yes, the almighty Creed fragrances. It started in 2003 and the fragrances are inspired by New York City neighborhoods. So I'm from New York. There's so many sights and sounds and imagery and artistry found all over the city. There really is a story that can be told on any corner of New York City. They do women's, men's, and unisex fragrances. When they first came out, I feel like they were doing more unisex fragrances. So let's get into my top 10 Fragrance choices from Bond number nine. Coming in in the number 10 spot is Perfumista Avenue. This is a floral fragrance that smells very sweet, leathery, and rose-like. If you like more sensual smelling scents, this one has a musk that wears super close to the skin, but it's laced with rose and amber, and I just love it. I could definitely see this being a modern woman's signature scent. It manages to be delicate, and sexy is all hell. Coming in in the number nine spot is Scent of Peace. Scent of Peace was inspired after the attacks of 9-11 that happened here in New York City. The idea behind this fragrance was to create an image of peace through perfume. I own this one. It smells sparkling, fresh. There's a top note of grapefruit in the opening of this fragrance. It has a very gentle, soothing quality about it. This is something that I would wear on more casual days or days throughout the summer. It is so good and the standout in this perfume is black currant and on my skin I get a lot of woods and musk in the dry down. Coming in in the number eight spot is West Side. Now this fragrance is marketed more towards women, but the first time that I smelled it, it was on a man and oh my god. It was so refreshing to smell a rose scent on a guy that didn't smell too sharp and too feminine. The notes in this scent really work well together and are blended to perfection. Rose, amber, vanilla. On a woman it smells amazing, but on a man, it's definitely a must try. Coming in in the number seven spot is a fragrance that I purchased as well from Bond number no. nine. It is called Coney Island. Coney Island is a citrusy, fruity, aromatic, aquatic scent. This is like one of those wild card fragrances. Like this is not something that you would 
normally see in fragrance, which was what drew it to me automatically. The notes of the fragrance are margarita mix, melon guava, cinnamon, chocolate, caramel, musk, cedar wood, vanilla, and sandalwood. So the mix, first of all, margaritas are my favorite drink probably of all time. I love a good margarita and who doesn't love chocolate? And when you think of these notes, chocolate, melon, and margarita mix in a bottle with vanilla? It's one of those scents that I wore all the time during the summer. It's definitely like a summer scent. You gotta wear this one in the summer. It's refreshing, it's tart, and in one word, I would describe it as delicious. So coming in in the number six spot is Saks For Her. Saks Fifth Avenue For Her is a sweet, white floral, tuberose, vanilla composition that women will love. It's funny because I shop at Saks all the time, like all the time, mostly for my niche or high-end perfume. And when I first smelled this perfume at Saks, I was like, why this? Why, why this composition of notes, which are jasmine, tuberose, vetiver, and vanilla? And one of the salespersons said, when you walk around Saks in the summertime, it smells like this. Women who are on holiday, women who are on vacation, women who love to wear like that coconutty fragrance of like beachy sun hitting their skin, like a faux tan. So I, I always remembered that because it was somewhat true. There's something about tuberose and jasmine and vanilla that is so fitting for the summertime, but it also has a warm creaminess to it. I thought it was full bottle worthy, which is why I purchased it, and I would highly recommend it. Now we've made it down to our top five, and these are ones that I really love. Coming in in the number five spot is New Harlem. The New York Times gave this particular fragrance a five-star review and said, this juice runs like a Maserati. Can you imagine? The inspiration for this fragrance were the iconic days of when Harlem was in its prime. Think Apollo Theater, the Cotton Club, with notes of lavender, green leaves, coffee, cedar wood, amber, and vanilla. This is just like a beautiful, aromatic fragrance. It smells so delicious and decadent, and that's why it's on the number five spot of this countdown. Coming in in the number four spot is a fragrance. This was actually the first fragrance that I purchased from Bond Number no. 9. Fell in love with it. Upon first sniff, I was like, I have to have this one. It's called Broadway Night. There's something so special about this fragrance. I swear, it is like the ultimate and feminine fragrance. It's super floral, sweet, and creamy and the vanilla dry down in the end there's only one word to describe it superb broadway night was supposed to be inspired by the razzle dazzle non-stop lights and entertainment of broadway i have to say i fell in love with this one because i was a professional dancer for a long time and i feel like when i wore this it just reminded me of josephine baker i loved it it's a compliment getter, it's super feminine, and it will definitely turn heads when you wear it. Coming in in the number three spot is New York Amber. New York Amber is a fresh yet spicy rose oud composition that lasts and lasts. I received a sample of this fragrance when it first came out and I totally fell in love with it. This fragrance has four simple notes, saffron, jasmine, amber, and oud. So if you're an oud lover, this is a nice one to try. It has a seductiveness about it. This fragrance is definitely something that I would suggest on a night out. People will stop you. People will turn heads when you wear it. On my skin, it comes across very loud and 
it's just one of those showstopper perfumes that you wear when you know you're ready to have a good time. Coming in in the number two spot is definitely one of my favorites of the entire line. It's legendary. I've seen it in so many magazines. So many people talk about this fragrance and it is none other than Chinatown. First time I smelled this fragrance, I just fell in love with it. The opening is of peach blossoms and gardenia. This is a warm, woody, floral, spicy scent, and I would say it's hyper unique. I haven't smelled anything else like it. Incense and spices and woods on the skin. It is just glorious. It's a must try if you've never tried it, and I would highly recommend it. I've worn this scent in all seasons. I think it performs best in the summertime, but I love what this fragrance does once it gets on your skin. It is the perfect little piece of magic in a bottle. I love it. Coming in last, but certainly not least, in the number one spot is Bond Number no. 9 Signature Scent. I remember the day that I first smelled this, I was like, I have to have it. If you want something that performs well, projects well, people will turn their heads. This is like one of my most complimented scents of all time. Four basic notes of oud, tonka bean, rose, and musk. Oud in this fragrance is a clean oud. It's not dirty or earthy by any means. This is more of a fresh oud. Now if I had to describe this in one word, I would say it's pure. It just smells clean, woody, fresh. This is one of those scents that when you put it on, it automatically elevates your outfit. It automatically elevates your mood. It's everything that I really like and enjoy in a perfume, and I would highly recommend this one. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and thank you for watching. Now let's go ahead and talk about the details of this giveaway. So three things you have to do. Number one, subscribe to this channel, obviously. Number two, make sure that you click the link in the description box to sign up for the giveaway. I'll be notifying people via email if they want the giveaway. Number three, make sure to share this video on your social media feeds using the hashtag give it away tiff give it away give it away give it away tiff <laughs> don't forget to share your favorite bond number nine with us in the comments down below and let me know which scent you would like me to review next thank you so much for watching again and i will catch you in the next video bye Give it away, give it away. <laughs> Larice. 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 Give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now.